the new lawn pic Shane Healy Pro Sports images supporters traveling to watch Friday night's League Two clash between Forest Green Rovers and Swindon Town are being advised to make use of the park and ride service set up for the game in order to reach the new lawn. The match, which is the first competitive meeting between the two clubs since 2007, is being broadcast live on Sky Sports and as a result, there will be no on-site parking at the stadium. Car parking is available at the Nailsworth School opposite the new lawn and will be in operation from 5 p.m. and is open to both home and away supporters as a cost of just £5 per car. However, it is expected that this car park will fill up fast, so fans are advised to arrive early to have a chance of getting a space. Alternatively, the club will operate a park and ride service from nearby engineering company Renishaw, located on Stroud Road. More than 200 spaces are available on a first-come, first-served basis costing just £5 per car. The service will start at 5.30 p.m. with regular coaches running to and from the ground right up until kickoff. After the conclusion of the match, coaches will take fans back to Renisha from the bus stop outside the new lawn on the main road with the final coach leaving the ground at 10.30 p.m. A statement on Forest Green's official website read Friday's game is set to be one of the biggest of the season as Forest Green Rovers host Swindon Town in the first competitive clash between the two teams since 2007. With over 3,000 supporters expected to arrive at the new lawn on Friday evening, fans are advised to arrive as early as possible to help ease congestion around kickoff. The club have been working hard behind the scenes with Gloucestershire Police and Gloucestershire County Council to ensure that the main road to the new lawn is kept clear for traffic and also for emergency access. A temporary traffic order will be in place on Nimsfield Road Spring Hill, which is the main access road between Nailsworth and the new lawn. As a result, this road will become a no-parking, no-waiting zone from 4 p.m. to 11 p.m. on Friday to help ease traffic congestion. As part of this, a traffic enforcement officer will also be operating on the streets near the stadium throughout the day, so fans are encouraged to park in line with local parking restrictions.